the land of Israel. For billions of people all over the world, it is the holy land, the promised land, the place of peace, and a refuge for persecuted people. But peace is elusive, and persecution continues. Now thousands of African refugees have arrived in Israel, hoping to find sanctuary until danger passes. Instead of welcoming the asylum seekers and making a place for them, the government is doing everything it can to prevent them from entering the country. In contravention of international law, authorities issue almost no work permits to those already in the country, forcing them to work illegally or depend on charity. Hundreds of leading rabbis paid by the state have issued edicts forbidding Jews from renting apartments to Africans seeking asylum and any other non-Jews. In their edicts, they cite passages of the Bible that call in plain language for the ethnic cleansing of the land of Israel of all people who are not Jewish. Liberal rabbis say that these passages refer to historical events that occurred over 3,000 years ago and that they have no relevance to the here and now. But these chief rabbis on the public payroll insist that these biblical injunctions are still in effect and that they must be followed to the letter of the law, no non-Jews. Jewish extremists have been appointed to powerful posts in the government, and they are implementing policy according to their racist ideologies. Mayors, Knesset members, and ministers smear the African refugees, calling them disease-ridden, terrorist threats, and demographic time bombs. Their propaganda campaign is whipping people into a frenzy. Politicians are leading street rallies through the African areas, demanding that they be deported. A tiny fraction of activists are trying to aid the asylum seekers, but they are marginalized by mainstream Israeli society. For their efforts, they are labeled as race traitors. How did this happen? The African Refugee Development Center has prepared a written report and a one-hour documentary film for the United Nations that examines these issues. If you care about Israel and you're bothered by racism, if you want to know more, then please watch the film and pass it on to others using social media.